Hello and welcome one and all to another episode of Let's Cook. This is Chef Nabil and I have an amazing recipe for you today, so stay tuned. Today we are going to do a biryani. A biryani is not something you come from work and you said, oh, I'm gonna make a biryani. No, this will take time. It's an easy recipe, but takes time. You have to plan very well for it in advance. Okay, and we're going to do it together. And it's, it's uh, one of those ethnic dishes that came out of uh, India and uh, conquered the world. And uh, in India, every state, every city, every neighborhood got their own way of making biryani. The spices are different, the rice is different, the cooking method is different, but in the end, it all has almost the same principle. I'm gonna do my take on it, okay? Uh, it's quite authentic, I think, except I put something which is uh, in India would be considered a sacrilegious, a sin thing to do. I'll put potatoes on mine, that's how I like it. Uh, if you don't like it, don't put it, but I like it, okay? Uh, no restaurant, no house, no anything in India would give it, they would put potatoes on it, but I just like the taste, sorry. In here I have uh, onions, I want to caramelize that, okay? I want it uh, brown, I want it uh, toasty, I want it uh, caramelized, I want the sweetness of it. Uh, in here I have water for the uh, for the rice, okay, uh, I need to boil the water and I will put my dry spices. I have a stick of cinnamon, a couple of bay leaves, some dried chilies, some cardamom, some uh, cloves, okay? And we, uh, we want the uh, the water to be boiling for the rice. We want gonna bar boil the rice, okay? And of course, I need to salt it. I have my sea salt, finally, okay? And once it starts boiling, we'll put the rice. And here, we've got the onions uh, almost coming and my potatoes. Don't tell anybody, again, please. Uh, if you don't like them, don't use them. Uh, okay, we need to marinate the chicken. Since we are doing a chicken biryani. And uh, I have uh, some bone-in chicken here. Okay, I made some slits in it and I took the skin, the skin off. I don't need the skin in this. Now, some people would actually keep the skin and uh, saute the chicken beforehand. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put it and let it cook with the biryani, okay? Now, to this, uh, we're going to add cilantro, uh, coriander, okay? I take just a bunch like so. I need mint. Also a bunch, I measure carefully, okay? And I have some chilies, green chilies. These are hot, so use at uh, your own discretion. See how much you like it hot. I have garlic uh, paste with uh, ginger, okay? 
again, I don't measure in food. Here I have my mix of spices. I already mixed these. I have a gram masala, I have coriander, I have some nutmeg, some uh, uh, cinnamon. What else do I have in there? Uh, I'm sure some other things. I already uh, mixed them, but they will be uh, listed for you on the ingredients. Okay. And uh, we will add some salt. Where is my salt? There it is. I will need some lemon and I will need uh, a splash of vinegar in it as well. And then I will put in my curd or a yogurt or Greek yogurt if you like, okay? So, uh, just give me a, a second, let me get uh, some lemon. No problem if seeds go in, no problem. They taste a little bitter, but they taste good. All right, uh, I'll uh, look for the uh, vinegar in a bit. Let me just move these around. Okay. Now, the uh, marinade should really uh, sit in the fridge for like as much time as you can have. Um, I would say four, five, six hours is good. Okay, um, it's up to you. Today we don't have the time, of course, so I'm gonna start using right away. So make believe, okay? Uh, that it's sat in the fridge for that long. Uh, it's, it's mixed nice. The uh, water is almost boiling. The, uh, the onion's almost caramelizing. Uh, my potatoes are on the uh, small uh, thing, so it, it will take a little longer, but doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, we are going to take a short uh, stop just to uh, clean up a little bit and get ready and then we will uh, do the rice, okay? All right, uh, everything is doing fine here. I uh, got the vinegar, just, just a splash, about a uh, tablespoon, that's all. Uh, now, the reason you marinate the chicken, because the acid we have in um, the yogurt and the uh, lemon and in the vinegar will cook the chicken actually. So it's, uh, the chicken will, be, will cook faster uh, and it will be very tender. But uh, we're still okay if you don't have the time to do it like we are doing it, you are okay. Uh, don't worry about it, have fun, okay? Uh, my, uh, my onions are doing very nicely here, very, it's, it's, it smells so nice in here. Okay, uh, we're going to do the rice, okay? Uh, I actually have a small pot, so I'm not gonna use all the rice. I have three cups of rice, so I'm using about Two and a half, okay. Now the rice, I actually um, soaked it in water for about half an hour. Some people don't like it, uh, don't like to soak it, they just uh, wash it, which is fine. 
uh, it just will be starchy, okay? It will give you uh, more of a sticky rice uh, when you cook it. Um, I, I prefer to, to soak it, get rid of some of the starch. Okay, uh, my onions are about ready. Now they will keep cooking even after you take them out. Um, so you don't want to overcook them. I'll just drain some of the oils from them. I'll just put uh, paper in here. Okay. And I'll start taking them out. After a few minutes, you will see that they have darkened up a little bit. Okay, so we don't want to overdo it. This is the color that I want. Like I said, there are a million ways of doing it. Okay, there is no right, there is no wrong. Let me take this out of my way for a little bit. It will all come out, taste nice. Okay, so... Uh, God, I love to work with gas. I don't like this electric stuff. Uh, but this is what we have, so we've got to work with it. Uh, so, you don't... Um, like I said, this will be your biryani. Do it any way you like, okay? The, like I said, there is no right, there is no wrong. As long as you have the right principle there, you are okay. But, uh, uh, the, you know, what you add, what you take out, it's, it's preference, okay? So don't worry about it. Uh, guys, we're almost ready to assemble, believe it or not, yes. Um, so I want to bring the... Uh, what we're gonna cook in, and uh, we'll be back in a jiffy, okay? Stay tuned. All right, uh, we are back. We are ready to get our pot ready. We're ready to get our pot ready. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, this is the pot. It's a small pot. Uh, I, I usually use a bigger one. In the bottom, I will have some ghee. Okay. And uh, I don't want things burning. So I'll have uh, the ghee in the bottom. It will give a nice taste as well. And then I will uh, have slices of uh, onions. Okay. All right, so we have onions in the bottom. Uh, I will also add some tomatoes. Okay. Now, uh, I'll have the potatoes. See how nice it looks? It's really very nice and golden color. And it tastes good in rice. So, uh, that's why I like having it there. By the way, I, I meant to mention to you about a gram masala. Now, a gram masala is a, a very, a, has a central role in this dish, and I think without it, you cannot really make it. I used a store-bought store uh, masala, but you could certainly use uh, your own. You can make your own. Uh, 
very easy to make, just you need the whole spices and you just uh, um, toast them in a frying pan and then put them in a grinder and ground them. Okay, it's very easy to do and you get very, very nice masala and it's to your taste. You can put anything you like in it, whichever you are used to. Okay. Um, uh, so, uh, feel free to do your own. I don't have time today. You know, I, I went through a phase where I used to cook a lot of uh, Indian food and uh, I used to have, I used to make my own. Right now, I'm uh, too busy to do that. Okay, now I'll need my chicken to be on top here. All right with the marinade, with everything. It will really look uh, much different when you marinate it, so I advise you to please marinate it, okay? And we'll just put the rest of the marinade in. And spread it. Very good. Now, uh, I will, uh, I will uh, put some, what would you like first? The onions? Oh, they're crispy and nice. Okay. And then, We'll put some of the, uh, that's a lot, who cares? Okay, and then the, see the uh, coriander. And there is no room left for my rice. Wouldn't you like that? Okay, we've reduced the rice quite a bit. Uh, now we are just uh, waiting to make sure uh, of the rice. I need it about 70%, 75% cooked. Okay, and it's, we are almost there. We are almost there. Okay, let me check it out and give it a minute or two and I'll be right back with you. All right, so our rice is uh, ready. It looks nice. Uh, I probably can't use most of it because, as I said, the pot is small, but uh, I'm really used to cooking for, for a big volume. <laughs> I love uh, cooking for like 50, 100 people. It's fun. Uh, anyway, so this, is, uh, this will do for now, okay? Okay, then we will uh, need put ghee on top. Okay, we will need some coloring. I have some saffron here in rose water. You could put it in uh, saffron in uh, water. You can put it in milk, anything you like. I prefer the rose water for the taste. Okay. Now well, that looks wonderful. Uh, finally, some people like to add food coloring. You know, um, if you want to use it, fine. I sometimes use it, sometimes not. But uh, uh, this is orange coloring. Okay. Not too much. Uh, one teaspoon, maybe two at max. And we are almost ready, except for the onions on top. Okay, some coriander. And some mint.
That's it, guys. We'll put it in uh, on the fire. We will go. Many people would go uh, like medium high, then reduce the temperature for another 15, 20 minutes to low. I just like to go uh, medium all the way. Okay, I don't like to putz with changing temperature, besides I always forget. So uh, we will go um, like medium low and uh, using this thing, um, I'll go to number four. Uh, before we cover it, I want to seal it, okay? Now, this is not enough. I need to seal it very well. In the old days, what they used to do is to, uh, to have uh, uh, dough, and they sealed this thing, and it worked very, very well. <coughs> Today, uh, for speed purposes, I'll just put foil. Okay. Uh, our pot is ready and we'll just cover it with the foil okay and make sure it is sealed because we want all the steam to be inside okay sorry about the noise but i'll be honest with you i prefer the old method i prefer to have the uh, uh dough around it it seals it very, very nicely. Okay, so this is done. And we will uh, 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 just let it go at uh, medium low. We'll need about 35 minutes, maybe 40. We'll check it, we'll come back to it. At the meantime, go do something uh, Useful, get a cup of coffee, tea. Wait a minute, it's Ramadan. Uh, don't do anything, just stay tuned. We'll see you in a minute. All right, we are back here, and it has been half an hour. Uh, so let's check on our rice. I hope it's cooked. Uh, oh man, this smells really nice. Really, thank you, India, for this. Okay, um, usually what I do, I, uh, I'll have a big tray and put it on top of here and I just flip it over. <coughs> Again, th that's not how Indians do it. They just go uh, mix it up and take from the top and serve, okay? And take some of the chicken. And don't forget the potatoes. Oh. Okay. And some of the stuff that was on the bottom. I need maybe another piece of chicken. And potatoes. Okay. And for final, we'll put some of this uh, onions, caramelized onion. Why are you going there? Come back. Come back. Okay. Some of the coriander and some of the uh, mint, okay? Voila, biryani is served. I hope you like it, I hope you make it. And it is uh, really very, very nice. Do it your way, okay? Don't, don't worry about whatever anybody says to you. I hope you like it, and uh, 
Until we meet next time, this is Chef Nabil. I bid you peace. Thank you.